With the release of Rhino 8 comes an array of new integrated section tools. Some of these tools such as the dynamic sections no longer require plugins and can produce complex backgrounds. There are also custom hatching for any object or layers or amazing 3D construction drawings or 2D drawings. Additional functionality includes the ability to selectively clip objects or layers for stripping parts of your building. I'll go through a couple of examples to show the main functionality of these new tools. Here I have modeled up a tower, loosely based on the Cytokinesis tower design. It has an interesting internal organic form to create some sections from. As you zoom in, you can see the complex meshes here. All the new section tools are listed under the drafting tab here, under sections, and you can find the various options. We we'll always want to start by creating a new section under create. We can then hit enter to select all the geometry or specifically select elements. And we can change the axis of the section up here on the IR option. You can also flip the direction of the cut. So if we click to place it, it will automatically give us a number. And we can also add as many sections as you like. I'll stick with one and just hit enter. Straight away, you can move the section like a typical clipping plane and get live feedback. However, what we want to try out is the new dynamic sections. If we go back to drafting and down to create drawings, we select all again. And this time we can place where we would like to see the drawings in the viewport. There are other options to customize, which I'll go through in a bit. But now if you drag the section, you can see the cuts are dynamically updated. As you can see, the problem here is that the section is very simple and you cannot see any depth or background. However, a new solution has been built in to address this. If we go back to drafting, sections, and click edit drawings, select the clipping plane, and you can see now we have an option here to show label, and more importantly, to add background. So let's change this to add the background to yes, and let it update. You will now see all the complex details of the windows in this mesh appear. If you zoom in, you can also see that this is a very clean drawing of all of these details. Of course, the line weights and colors need some editing. However, you can see that these are all separated out nicely into layers as I click on and off here. So you can edit the colors and line weights in the layers here or export to Illustrator and do the same. So you have a lot of control here. Now, if we drag the section plane, you can see the section updates with both the cuts and the background. It may take some time to generate due to the complexity of calculating all the meshes I've chosen, but this is an extreme example I'm using. So in your simpler buildings, you have instant processing. In addition to the 2D drawings, you can create some amazing 3D sections. If we switch to the rendered mode here, we can already see a very nice sectional diagram. And if we zoom into the cuts, you can see that they are not filled in. But Rhino 8 has added a section style to each layer. So if we go over to the floors in the layers, we can change the hatch patterns and also the color or scale. If we zoom in, you can see the scale of the hatch was a bit huge. So we can go back and change and make it smaller or just change it to solid, which makes more sense. I'll go through some better examples of section hatching later on in the video. If I delete the section, you will also notice that the drawings are attached to the section, so they will also disappear. While we are still on this tower model, I would like to show you another useful section tool for creating floor plans or even fabrication drawings. First, we need to create a series of sections for the floors. So I'll go back to drafting and create a new section. From the options, I'll select the DIR and go to C plane and make one section. Then if I go to the left view, 
I'll type in array and just in the y direction, which for me here is going upwards, I'll click 39 as I know that this is how many floors there are. And I'll just click to select my floor height. If I go back to my 3D views, I can see all the section planes. But to see the model, I can deactivate these planes in the view by going to properties and unchecking this box. Now we can go up to drafting, sections, and click on nested drawings. We just select all the clipping sections. We have some options for spacing these out. They may take some playing around with, but essentially this dimension is the space between the drawings and the width is related to how many rows you want. So if we click in the viewport, you can see there are three rows of labeled plans. You can also see how this process can be more useful for manufacturing drawings or for laser cutting. As promised, I will go through now the section detail styles in a better example. For construction drawings, you can directly set the section style of any object. For the sill here, if we go over to the section styles in the layers panel, you can choose from any pattern style. I will choose concrete down here and pick black to make it easy to see. You can see the scale is too big, so let's reduce it to 0 0.3 and that is much better. For the brick, we can do the same and select a diagonal hatch and increase the scale to three. And let's keep it black. Great. And we can try one more out for the insulation here. There's already a hatch for insulation. So let's pick that and change to black. You can see all the details against the shaded mode here. However, the new monochrome shader in Rhino 8 is also amazing for showing 3D construction drawings and contrast. You can really see that the bold details in the sections really stand out. And just in case you need to load in more custom hatches, if you go to the display options, up the hatchet, there is an import option here. If you Google free Rhino hatches, you can find a bunch to import. Also, if you want to do 2D drawings, you can go to the right viewport. Let's change it back to monochrome. And since the section is not active, we need to first find and select the section. And go to properties. We can select the right viewport to make sure it's active. And then we can get out some hatches and details in 2D with some shadows. But this is a great new addition for those who need to create detailed construction diagrams. Finally, I would like to share the selective section. So if we go to drafting and create a new section and move that over to cut solder house, you can go to the properties and with it selected, you can see what objects you clip. If you change this to include selected and click layers, you can select any of the layers so here I will choose the roof. And now if you move that plane, you see that only the roof tiles are clipped. Very nice. You can see how this is great for showing the construction build up. But let's make another section and bring that in a bit. Over the in the property panel, let's change the objects clip to include selected and select the wood layer and move that over to the right. Let's add one more section just to hide the ceiling and bring that in. And in the same way as before, choose include selected and pick the ceiling layer. I will just add one more section to clip off all the layers at the end. You can then move any of these sections and they will only affect that chosen layer. Just adjust to show whatever details you like. This is also a very nice tool to use if you want to make some flashy animations of architectural build-ups, stripping away layers. If interested, I can make another video on how to do this. 
Otherwise, I hope you found this new section tools in Vino 8 very useful. And I'll see you in the next video.